Hi, my name is Daniel, and in this video I'll be showing you how to automate your development or production environments with Zen Server 6 using CLI tools. CLI tools, which is provided in the Zen Server 6 package, is a utility that allows easy automation for Zen Server on all operation systems except Windows. Using the command line or an automated script, you can perform common setup operations as well as web API operations. Now I've already installed Zen Server 6 on my Debian machine, so you can begin taking a closer look at how to use CLI tools. A good way to get started is to enter General Help Command to get a menu of all the available commands and common arguments. The first thing I'd like to do is to launch Zen Server. A good best practice before performing any action is to run a help command on the action you wish to perform in order to get an idea of what the command needs to look like. Looking at the provided help, I can see that I'm going to need to provide an admin password, a license order number, a license key, a true or false value for accepting the EULA agreement, a default application URL, and the server URL. Using these details, I need to enter the command to launch then server. Please note that you're provided with a web API key that is crucial for working with the CLI tool commands. Save these details for future use. If I try running a command without the Web API key, I'm informed that I'm missing the Web API key details. Running the same command with the Web API key name and hash gives me the expected results, a general rundown of my server info. Now let's add our server to a cluster using the server add to cluster command. For this action, I'm going to need to enter the server name and IP. The MySQL database details. and of course the Web API key details and last but not least the URL of the server please note that we're given a new Web API key which we'll need for future use the next and final action for this video is deploying an application in this command, I'm going to add the path to the Zend application package to be deployed, the ZPK, the base URL of the application, the Web API key details, and the Zend server URL. Taking a peek at the Zend server user interface, let's see how we're doing. On the servers page, we can see that our server is now a proud member of a cluster. And the deployed application is listed on the apps page. That's it for now. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. If you have any ideas for improving Zen Server 6 that you'd like to share with the Zen Server team, please don't hesitate to contact Zen. For more detailed information on integration and automation with Zen Server 6, please refer to the online documentation at www.zen.com.